Hello， 大家好。Hello， 大家好，这里是安杰和静初，好久不见、嗯，欢迎大家来到我们的频道。嗯嗯，呃，我刚刚在澳大利亚度了一个多月的假，所以没有在很频繁的说中文。所以我的中文好像有一点点退步，请大家原谅。<笑>好的，那今天的这一支视频，我们要跟大家分享一些什么呢？嗯哼，因为呢，在上一支视频里面，我们跟大家分享了这一本书的前一半的一些比较有用的单词和短语。对。然后，所以今天的这一支视频呢，我们就跟大家分享一下这一本狗狗书里面后半部分的比较实用和英式英语的一些<笑>单词和短语、嗯。那今天就是这一本狗狗书的 Part Two。嗯，今天的这一支视频呢，可能我们更多的会给大家分享一些单词，然后这些单词呢，也是我在看这本书的时候画圈圈的一些单词。好，那我们现在就开始吧。好。The first word is giddy. Giddy is quite an old-fashioned word, and it's also quite an advanced word for feeling dizzy. Giddy 的意思呢，就是很眼花缭乱，很晕乎乎的那种感觉的意思。嗯。So we often say, "I'm feeling really giddy," or "You look a bit giddy." The second word is slightly hard to pronounce. The second word is negligible. Negligible. That's right. My mum says this an awful lot. Negligible means very small, so small that it can be ignored. 嗯，就是微不足道的意思。嗯。So we often say that the cost of something is negligible, or the amount of something is negligible. So, for example. Um, I bought a something for Joe, and she says, "Oh, how much was that?" Oh, don't worry about it. It was negligible. The third word that we'd like to share with everybody is squeal. Squeal. That's right. So in the book, the sentence was, "The car's tires were squealing on the tarmac." So when you drive a car,、mm -hmm. if you start really, really fast, the tires will spin on the road, and it will、mm -hmm. make a noise. You'll often see it in Formula One or car racing. 嗯哼，也就是车的轮胎在快速摩擦的时候会产生的一种声音，就是很有点刺耳的那种鸣叫声。嗯。Squeal has another meaning. A person can also squeal. So if I go, that kind of funny noise, that is also squealing. 嗯哼，如果是更多的是 baby， 他们会发出这样子的声音，可以叫做 squeal. Similar to 尖叫 The fourth word that we'd like to tell everybody is well, there are actually two: clockwise and anti-clockwise.、Mm -hmm. So when we were in Taiwan in the summer, we went round round the whole of Taiwan, but we did it anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. 呃，就是我们当时呢在台湾旅游的时候，我们是花了两个礼拜的时间做了一个环岛的呃旅行，台北。然后一直到垦丁，然后一直到基隆，然后我们绕的是一个逆时针，所以逆时针呢叫做 anti clockwise。那反过来呢，顺时针的话就叫做 clockwise。So if it goes the way a clock goes from what twelve one two three, that is clockwise. If it goes the other direction from twelve eleven ten nine, that is anti clockwise. The fifth word that we'd like to tell you about is spiral. Spiral. So my clearest memory of spiral is in Harry Potter,、uh, in the castle in Hogwarts that they go to school in. There are lots of spiral staircases that go like this. Mm-hmm. 就是螺旋的。然后我们在圣保罗教堂的时候。伦敦的圣保罗教堂有一个这样的螺旋的楼梯，是当时《Harry Potter》的取景地。然后我们当时也去看了，那个是一个螺旋的楼梯。The sixth word is still. Obviously, still is a very simple word. It means 仍然、依然、依旧、仍旧。But、uh, it has another meaning. So if I say to somebody, "Stand still,"、mm? they don't move. So in Chinese, that is. 处于一种静止的状态。So there are a couple of similar words in English. You can say this person is very still. This person is motionless, without motion, not moving. Or this person is uh, at, at standstill. So here, still is adjective. Not a. Not a. Other word. <laughs> <laughs> 
house. Okay, the seventh word is walkie talkie. Walkie talkie. Mm -hmm. 这是个听起来很押韵的单词，大家可以猜猜什么意思？是什么意思？<笑>大家可以根据意思去猜。Walkie talkie 可以这样吗？嗯，就是你可以走，但你同时又可以说话，你可以边走边说的东西，可以这么理解吗？然后除了你的手机之外，大家还能想到什么？一般是在工作场景会出现的这么一个东西。嗯。It is a. It is a 对讲机，就那个黑色的对讲机，这个叫做 walkie-talkie. That's right. The eighth word is sober. Sober. Sober means 清醒的 But there is a slight difference between the word sober in English and the word sober in Chinese. The word 清醒 Mhm.、Mm、清醒 has two meanings in Chinese. One is I'm not very awake. I'm quite tired. So in the morning, you might say, "Oh, 我有点不清醒。我没睡醒。Mm -hmm. um, and the second meaning of 不清醒 in Chinese is after you've drunk alcohol, you feel a bit giddy, or you feel a bit dizzy, a bit、um, light-headed. You also feel 不清醒 However, in English, sober means not drunk alcohol. You don't say, "I don't feel sober" if you're just very tired. It only has the meaning that is related to alcohol. So, 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 因为 sober 只跟酒有关系。那如<笑>那如果我很清醒，你我可以说 I'm feeling very awake. Awake. 如果是你在没有喝酒的情况下，你还是很清醒，保持一种很清醒的状态的话，你可以说 I'm feeling very awake. I'm feeling very awake.、Mm -hmm. 大家明白了吗？<笑>这个很绕，对我来说。What we were going to add to this is to sober up. So after you've drunk alcohol, let's say I have two bottles of beer. If、mm -hmm. I stop drinking and I become 越来越清醒 that process is called to sober up. Sober up. Yes, 这个过程本身叫 to sober up. 醒酒，是吗 ？Yay, English! <laughs> 好，我知道了。谢谢何老师。Okay, the ninth word is to trip up or to trip over. So our special friend、okay. is going to make a special appearance.、Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Fluffles. <laughs> so this is Mr. Fluffles. He's walking along. He trips over something or trip on something. His 意思就是说 ，Mr. Fluffles 被什么东西绊倒了？嗯、mm. 嗯。So Mr. Fluffles tripped up, tripped on, or tripped over my hand. Very simple.、Mm -hmm. Very simple. Thank you, Mr. Fluffles.、Oh, thank you, Mr. Fluffles. Yay! <laughs> The tenth word is soaking wet or dripping wet. So first of all, let's go back to the roots of the words. To soak is 泡浸浸泡。浸泡浸入在什么什么当中。If something is soaking, it's after you have soaked it in water. It's very, 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 very wet. So we often use the word soaking wet to describe somebody who is really, really wet. Maybe they just got wet. In the rain, or maybe they just had a bath, or maybe they just went swimming. 嗯，就是浑身都湿透了，然后像刚刚从水里出来的那种湿度一样，就浑身湿哒哒的 ，soaking wet. And another way of describing it, which essentially means the same thing, is dripping wet. So to drip is a dishalai of little bits of water. You're so wet, water is dripping off you. The eleventh word that we want to talk to you about is a. Phrase, not a word. When Christopher in the book is outside and very, very cold, his mother finds him, and his mother is very worried and says, "Oh, Christopher, it's really cold. You'll catch your death out here." That's just kind of a friendly way of saying you might die out here. It's so cold that you might die. You will catch your death. The 意思就是
呃，外面很冷啊，你可能要冻死啦，或者是呃，外面在下雨啊，你淋雨啦，你全身都湿哒哒的，你会冻死的，就是大概是这种样子的意思。嗯嗯。We can also just add a little bit to this. If it's very very cold, somebody also might say to you, oh, let's get you inside. You'll catch a cold out here. 嗯，就是说外面很冷啊，你肯定要感冒啊的意思。对。That kind of. Very good. Number twelve, the last word. This is a good colloquial word.、Uh, so let's start again from the root of the word. To wander. To wander is a bit like 溜达 but in the dictionary I saw it was translated as 徘徊 or 彷徨 So it just means to go for a, a nice walk, a nice slow walk. And then the word that came up in the book is to wander off. I'm going for a walk with Mr. Fluffles. I want to make sure Mr. Fluffles is safe, so I want to make sure he is always in my line of sight. If Mr. Fluffles wanders off, I can't see him. I don't know where he is. He's gone a different way. So to me, he might be lost. 就是他可能悄悄的就溜走了，这种叫做 wander off. But I have a question: How to、uh, pronounce? Uh, wander, W A N D E R, and wander, W O N D E R. Do they have difference to pronounce? They do. There is a slight difference. So the first one is wander on on, like O N wander. Wander. Very good. And the second one is wonder. It's more like with a U. Wonder. Wonder. Perfect. Okay. OK， 那今天呢，狗狗书呃 Part Two 的单词和短语就跟大家分享完了。那希望大家可以喜欢我们的这一支视频，也希望大家可以喜欢这本狗狗书。还有我们三个人，还有我们三个人，安杰、静初和 Mr. Fluffles。那最后呢，我们三个人跟大家说拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。哦，对了，接下来的要看的书是什么书？哦、oh,。接下来要看的书，<笑>接下来要看的书在我们的相相机之下。<笑>我们会把这本书的封面放在这儿。这本书的名字叫做《The Boy in the Striped Pajamas》，中文翻译名是《穿着条纹衣服的睡衣的男孩》。衣服，今天查了一下。OK。This book is a really, really sad book. I read it when I was in middle school,、mm -hmm. and、uh, hopefully Joe will enjoy it. 嗯哼，那如果大家感兴趣的话呢，也可以跟我们一起读书。那之后呢，我们也会出这本穿着条纹衣服男孩的单词短语的分享给大家。嗯哼，嗯哼，那希望你们喜欢我们的视频。下次再见，下次再见啦，拜拜。So only two more now. The eleventh word we want to talk to you about, I have completely forgotten. <laughs> That's right. The eleventh word we want to talk to you about is a short phrase. The phrase means nope. The phrase is. Let's do this all again. The eleventh word that we want to talk to you about. Please stop laughing at me. <laughs>、mm. <laughs>